Hey YouTube, we're back here. I've replaced the cable, uh, USB cable that had uh, one bad wire. It was the black wire. There's two black wires on a USB. There's one that's a little larger that's like a chassis ground. And then the positive 5 volts. The plus 5 volts was the ground was the one that was bad on this. There was a kink coming out of the controller. The wire kind of bent hard and that's why I suspected that it was broken so I pushed itself, I pushed really hard on the cable and then plugged it in and it came up, it read and installed the driver and then it worked for a second until I moved the joystick and then it lost contact. So I have chopped the cable, prepped it, uh, unsoldered it, chopped it, prepped it and resoldered it into place and now we're going to go ahead and plug this into the USB. Probably nothing will happen and then we can fire up our Logitech. Oh, it looks good. There it is, dual action ID1. Uh, we'll go ahead and try pressing up. You see the, I'm depressing the buttons and it's coming up. So there you go. Uh, that's how I replace a USB cable. It's not a easy process, um, especially if you lift a trace. It can become a little bit more complicated. Uh, and the main ingredient on this, besides the flux, is patience. You just want to really take, take it easy, take your time, take a break. All right, you guys, good luck and peace.